Hello everyone, this is Tuana from Llama Index and I've decided that I'm going to be making two videos over the next few weeks, this one being the first, because Llama Index provides a lot of tools and products as well as Llama Cloud. So my idea is that I'm going to be doing this video where I'll walk through the Llama Cloud landscape um, and then in the next video I'll actually use Llama Index, the open source framework, to build an agentic workflow that makes use of the tools that we've built for ourselves in Llama Cloud. So all of the tools and products that Llama Index provides essentially aims to make building AI applications a lot easier for developers. And the whole process starts from the very beginning of the AI application building lifecycle, which is very often preparing data in a way that an LLM can actually understand and use. Data is messy. It's complex, so Llama Index provides tools like Llama Parse, Extract, and Index to make that side of the application building a lot easier for you, while still making use of the latest AI technology and LLMs in the process. So let's start with Llama Parse. Llama Parse, the idea is simple. We may have data in quite notoriously difficult to handle file types, for example, PDFs with lots of tables and graphics, etc. And Llama Parse, just simply the idea is, let's take that and let's convert that format into something that we can actually effectively use with a large language model. In this example, you'll see me parsing an example invoice. This invoice has an address, a billing address, it's got prices, it's got VAT, it's got a bunch of things in there. And we want to be able to use this PDF within an AI application, for example, that the first thing we have to do is actually get the information out of this PDF. So this is what Llama Parse is allowing us to do. It has a bunch of options. We can decide to use very simple parsing techniques as well as use, using um, an agent or an LLM for the parsing process. Uh, and Llama Parse basically allows you to get that data, get that file into a format that an LLM can later on understand. This is a great segue into index because index under the hood also makes use of parse. And the idea behind index is storing a bunch of data, a lot of data into a format that maybe a, even a simple rag application might be able to use. So a lot of the time we may have thousands and thousands of files um, and we need to be able to like, first get them into a format that an LLM can use then possibly chunk them, then possibly embed them so that a retriever can retrieve the most relevant uh, context from that data that we have. And index handles basically all of this. The first thing you do is decide on what your data source is. This can be as, as simple as dragging and dropping a PDF file yourself, or you can, as, I've, as you see I'm doing here, you can select to use an external data source, like for example, here I'm connecting to a specific Google Drive folder of mine that for now has one document in it. Next, you can select a sync, which is basically telling Llama Index where you want the actual data stored. The easiest option here is to go with the Llama Index managed option, but you can also select from one of these databases available there as well. Once you've gone through all of these, you can also again choose your parsing options here, your chunking options here, etc. And you've deployed your index, then you can start querying it and playing around with it. Here you can see me chatting with uh, my index about um, Llama workflows, Llama index workflows, uh, because that's the one documentation uh, page I have in my Google Drive folder. All right, so we've gone through uh, parse, index, and now let's have a look at extract. This is one of the latest products we've added to Llama Cloud, and the idea is simple, but very effective. You may have a file that is maybe a CV, an invoice, a filing report, etc. These types of files and documents have a lot, a lot of information in there. And let's imagine you actually want to focus on a select few things. For example, the name of the applicant, the email address of the applicant, um, the degree of the applic applicant, and so on. We make use of the structured outputs functionality that most LLMs now support which allows you to either select from one of the predefined schemas or define your own schema. And then once you run an extraction agent over your document, then this extraction agent will be able to fill that schema in with the relevant information that is present in your file. One of our latest upgrades to this feature has also been 
enabling citations and reasoning, and I made a whole other video about this and how you can enable citations and reasoning, which basically allows you to not only see the structured output based on your uh, document, but also see if you have used an LLM or agent in the process. You can understand what the reasoning behind certain choices were and specific citations where the actual information from your document came from. If you want to have a look at that, I'm going to link the video in the description as well. And that's it. In the next video, we will build something with Llama Index workflows, making use of all three or some of these Llama Cloud tools. See you then.